Trio. We are very, very lucky to have with us now two musicians who are both epic in their own rights, uh, pushing musical boundaries and musical genres. Uh, they came together to uh, create a band that is, is, is challenging, is strange and really, really great to dance to. Um, they are incredible. Really great to have them back in the studio for the first time in two years. Would you put it together for Mike and Dwayne from Tomahawk? <laughs> Welcome, you can, uh, Mike. Welcome, sir. Good paper handshake. I should have kissed your ring or something. Very welcome back, gentlemen. For the what have you been doing? Last time you came out was for the big day out, uh, 2002. I don't know. What have you been doing since then, Mike? Oh, I don't know. Kind of, kind of rolled around overseas, yeah. did some Europe, yeah. U.S. and kind of washed up over here. Well, well, it's good to have you back, and it's a beautiful Sydney day for it, which is. Really, really lovely. These guys have been waiting all afternoon to have a bit of a yarn with you. Um, and, yeah. and there's nothing I like more than homemade merchandise. And, uh, and Marcel has got the, the homemade T-shirt on there. How are you, Marcel? Mike is the man. Robbie sucks the blue veins. Because oh. you're up against Robbie Williams tonight. Who's Why the is there so much negativity in I this know. town? See, in our country, they lock guys up like him. <laughs> That's why I like living here, Mike. I'm here. That's right. It's, it's a good value. What's your question, Marcel? Man, uh, I know you huge Sabbath fans. I love them. What's your favourite Sabbath moment? Favourite Sabbath, favorite Sabbath moment. moment. Sabbath moment? You know, I actually never really liked Black Sabbath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'm serious. I, I'm, I'm one of the few people I know who never got it. I'll be honest, I just don't I, I, I kind of wanted to cover um, Fairies Wear Boots. Have you heard that one? Yeah, that's a good that's one. That's a good one. That's a good one. The, from the D.O. years. The little no, 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 rock no, no. elf. No, no. I think early. I, uh, I think I urinated on one of Ozzy's teleprompters once. I was told I did. Do you get told stuff that you've done after you've done it often and go, don't quite recall that? Sometimes. But this was when I was really young, so I should remember it. Well, that's right. You're here touring. You're, um, you're both oh, playing. And... I just thought of a good Ozzy story. Yeah? He sat in with Faith No More once, because uh, we covered a Black Sabbath song. Yeah, and uh, uh, great. he, uh, uh, he shakes a lot. <laughs> I don't. God knows why. It couldn't have been all those drugs he's been taking. But uh, he, uh, 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 it was like an encore, right? And he couldn't remember the words to his own song. So I wrote out his own words for him on a cocktail napkin, and he was just, <laughs> and he still fucked. He still screwed it up. Excuse me. No, that's right. Well, there you go. Anyway. That, was that like a warning for you? I'm never going to do that again. I'm not going to go as hard as Ozzy because I'll end up like that. No, I'm inspiring. <laughs> Someone some yeah. to look up to. You're here touring with uh, with three bands that are all incredibly different. Is it hard playing like uh, playing with uh, doing a Thunderman set and doing a Tomahawk set? Do you, does your brain how does your brain work when you're like all over the place, Mike? I don't know. I mean, uh, how do you uh, walk and drink a beer at the same time? I'm a guy. I can't. <laughs> I have to turn the stereo down when I reverse park. I can't do two things at once. It's terrible. I don't know. If you enjoy something, you you, you figure out a way to. Do it, you know. Sweet. At the sweet. end of the night, you know, it's hard to see straight, but it's fun. Craig is uh, Craig's also here to see the gig. Craig, uh, oh, guys, see the first you time you came. Just a question for Mike. Uh, just wanted to know uh, what happened to the new Phantomus album. How come it's not released? Uh, Over here. It's it's, uh, yeah, little, little, little. it's not released anywhere yet. Released It'll anywhere. be out everywhere in January, and it got held back because the artwork is really complicated and really nice and I wanted it to be right so so you're gonna play stuff from the new album some, title? yeah some very nice indeed don't oh, worry you'll hate it don't, don't get too excited <laughs> didn't get a chance to ask you last time you were here you, you formed Tomahawk after when you were working in Nashville you saw a Mr. Bungle show what was yes that's right what What was the show like what was your memories were you just because I remember what my, my first Mr. Bungle show was like what was it like for you um people moved around and they s made sounds but what made you? What made you go? Oh, I've got to work with this guy. Um, there, he's. Did he ever step back? <laughs> <laughs> um, nobody else really would have anything to do with me at that point, and it's just kind of, you know, we just kind of ended up bedfellows. I, I just gave him that special wink. No, they were no, they were a great band. It was so different from everything else that that was going on, especially at that time in the states, and um, it just seemed like the right thing, right thing to do. I'm glad you did it because the first and second albums are both excellent mitkas. The thing my, my cousin taught me how to order water in Switzerland, and then now it's a Tomahawk album. That's right.
very it's excellent. It's also a, uh, you know, a reference to uh, a celebration of flatulence. Do you want to pull my finger? No, later. Maybe later. Um, ha please hang around. More people in the crowd do want to ask you questions. We do want to play you some songs. We requested ministry first. Jesus built my hot rod. Why? Because um, I know there's a lot of people I know in that video. That I just oh, like who? I just want to see people I know. Um, the drummer in the video is Mac McNeely, who used to play in my old band, The Jesus Lizard. Um, there's Al Jorgensen. There's Paul Barker. Um, Gibby. Yeah, Gibby Haynes from the Butthole Surfers. So, so there's just a... Uh, interesting cast of people. A reminiscence of, of Dwayne's friends. This is Jesus Built My Hot Rod.